All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstones and learn his truth from, honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity, and Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled Christian Woman Upset That She Was Lied To. All right. Christian woman upset that she was lied to. Now I got a spice to do this lesson because of this video right here that I shared by a friend of mine. And pretty much uh, within this video, you know, the so called white lady, she could be an Israelite, all right? She learned that uh, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true people of the Lord. They are the chosen people of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And she pretty much is getting to the point where she's getting ready to denounce. Her Christian faith. All right, you're gonna hear her say, uh, she just finds it amazing that, you know, you go to a church and then they have a, a picture of the white Jesus, and the scriptures tell you that he's a so uh, he's a, not a so called, but he is a dark skinned man. All right, and she pretty much just goes into it. See, and she uh, sounds very, very upset, man. And she got to the point where she was just like, man, look, I, I just wanna repent and do what's right and forget everything that i have learned all right and there's a lot of people out there that feel this exact same way because just like brother's been saying this truth has turned this world upside down all right because now that the truth is coming now people have to think differently about their lives and they have to think differently about us you negroes latinos and native americans because now they're like oh shit the ones that we've been kicking and leaving at the bottom are actually God's jewels, all right? And now they have to acknowledge that, acknowledge that, and now they have to change their ways or they have to accept their fate. And a lot of them are being or becoming afraid because a lot of these people, <laughs> they're realizing that they're in big trouble, all right? But the thing is, a lot of the, you know, the true Edomites, man, they're not gonna repent, they're not gonna feel sorry, they're going to do whatever it is that's in their power to make sure that they stay in the rulership seat because they want to keep Jake at the bottom no matter what. But, you know, when you get people like her, hey, these might be Israelites, um, you know, from the spirit. All right. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and play this video. It's three minutes long. You know, if the spirit want to play the whole video, we will. But if not, you know, we'll cut it short and then we'll grab some scriptures, man. So let's get into it. Hey YouTube, um, I just wanted to make a quick video on a subject that I've been researching and studying and looking up and um, one that's been bothering me. Um, and that's who the true Hebrew Israelites are. Um, I'm a Christian. Um, but I find it sickening that I've been at a church where there's a picture of a white man hanging on the wall that is not my Messiah. Um, I will gladly and humbly bow to the true color of the Messiah. I would rather bow to the true Messiah than a false image. And to the Afri African Americans, Native Americans, the 12 tribes that don't know who you are. Um, now you do. Um, the Ashkenazi and um, Khazar Jews, they're the ones that have been ruling everything for so long. Um, I'm considering 
leaving Christianity and um, taking the different and true path. Um, I pray to the Most High and to my Messiah and let them lead me the way. But Hopefully, I will become a sister to each and every one of you. Um, I confess and repent for what my forefathers have done. And uh, I pray that the true Hebrews get back as rightfully belongs to them. All right, so you heard it. And you heard her say in the video too that she was like, hey, you uh, Negroes, but she didn't say Negroes, she said you African Americans and Native Americans. She was like, you all are the chosen people of the Lord. And she said, if you don't know, well, now you know. And that's the thing, man. Jake still don't get it. <laughs> Jake still don't get it. Here it is. Somebody like her was, you know, like I said, she could actually be an Israelite. She literally said that, you know, she's upset because when she go to church, she sees a white image hanging inside of the buildings and everything. And she knows that that's not the true Messiah. All right. She's realizing that her forefathers are the wicked. She's realizing that everything that she was taught is nothing but bullshit and lies. And she's accepting the fact that, you know, she have to change her perspective on life. And here it is. She's in the spirit where she's like, look, I want to be a sister. That's what she said. She said she wanted to be a sister. That's why I said she may be a speckled bird. You never know. She may be an Israelite. Because as we all know, we were scattered through the four corners of the earth and we look like the heathen nations. A lot of us look like the heathen nations. There's going to be a lot of Israelites that's going to be saved that's going to look like the heathen nations, all right? But like I said, here it is. She has enough sense to realize history. She has enough sense to realize what's going on in the world. And she's starting to change her mind about the way that she looks at life. But Jake, for some reason, can't do that, man. What's wrong with you, Jake? <laughs> We don't understand, y'all. That's why the scriptures say two-thirds got to go. Because the evidence is plain, man. You don't have to go into deep breakdowns to understand who you are, man. All you got to do is just read a little bit. That's what, it, that's what it says in Revelation chapter 1, right? That's how this chapter starts. It tells you, blessed is he that readeth. Jake doesn't like to read, man. They don't like to research, even though they have these mini computers in their pockets. They can easily just Google. Google whatever you're looking for. Sit down for about 30 minutes a day or something like that. Read, study, and actually find out who you are. The evidence is out there, man, but Jake doesn't get it. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans should be feeling the exact same way that she's feeling right now, man. You saw the almost pain in her face when she was speaking. She was like, damn, man, she want to be accepted. She hopes that, you know, she says she want to be in good graces. <laughs> she don't want to um be... On the other side, because she already know if she goes back to the line of Esau, that's her ass, man. Slavery. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, as you can see, like I said, she was upset because she was lied to, man. And this is what's going to happen with a lot of people, man, because uh, Esau can't hide anymore. He can't hide the truth. This internet is messing him up, and it ain't nothing that he can do about it. But this is prophecy. This is prophecy, man. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 27. It says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be uh, quenched. All right? Lies are going to be done away with. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which hath been so long without fruit shall be declared. It's out here, man. Starting with the apostles on down, all right? Then going out, doing the work, uploading the videos, going out to the highways and the byways. You got brothers brothers traveling to different states, different countries, pushing the word. You got brothers out there doing the work in sign language. 
you got brothers out there doing the work in Spanish and all the other different languages because you know uh, there's Israelites in these other countries man the work is out here the truth is out here all right and it says once again it says ask for faith because this is our faith this is what we believe in all right the scriptures say you can't make it without believing the scriptures say you can't make it without faith it says it shall flourish but something flourish that means it grows it spreads this truth has definitely went across the four corners of the earth corruption shall be overcome and the truth which has been so long without fruit, sh fruit shall be declared. It's out here, man. It's out here. So what you gonna do, Jake? <laughs> what you gonna do? You gonna still gonna stand around? You already know what Jake gonna do. They still gonna stand around, and they not gonna acknowledge their heritage. They not gonna. They're not gonna acknowledge who they are. This is Revelation chapter seven, verse one, and it says, "And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth." holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree and i saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the tree so we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads so this is one of the reasons why the most high hasn't brung jacob's trouble and this is one of the reasons why America is not destroying and all hell is not breaking loose on the earth because the elect is not fully sealed yet This is why it's a great Requirement for you to go out and teach the truth if you know these scriptures man If you are a man first and foremost, all right If you are a man and you come into this truth and you learn it and you get to the point where you know these scriptures You know you going about with your everyday life you know running up on random people who you trust to speak about this with and you bringing out scriptures you need to go out and do the work man if you don't do the work how's the elect gonna learn how's the destruction gonna come if the elect is not sealed they gotta learn the truth man all right now let's jump down to verse um verse nine and it says after this i beheld and lo a great multitude which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our power was seated upon the throne and unto the lamb if you read the you know the chapter you read the verses above it tell you that 12,000 was going to be saved out of the uh, 12 tribes which is the 144,000 and then after that it was going to be a great multitude which no man could number of what all nations and kindreds and people and tongues all right this is why i said she may be an israelite she may be one of those ones from the different people the different people the nations the tongues all right because like i said our people were scattered through the four corners of the earth and there's a lot of us that look like them she may be an israelite because for her to you know do this video and have a, a low tone voice realize what's going on that may that may be enough at least she said she wanted to repent she said look i bow down i repent all right she's willing to do what's necessary so she won't be on the on the losing side so she may be an israelite you never know all right so this is what's going to happen this is exactly what was going to happen in the last days all right you're going to have of course the majority of our people that's going to look like our people they're going to be saved the elect and then you're gonna have a lot of our uh a lot of the elect that's gonna look like the other nations. That's what it is, man. Now let's get Ezekiel. We're gonna get Ezekiel um chapter 13. And go to verse 20. Now, when you read this um this chapter, this chapter is speaking about uh false prophets among Israel and how you know false prophets pretty much sent. A lot of our people lost to make make them sin and transgress and go against the Lord, and they uh, receive false dreams, so forth and so on. All right, but the scripture that I'm about to read, you can apply this to Esau because Esau is a false prophet now. All right, just like we heard heard from this video, right? She said she was going to church and she saw all the false images, and when she was growing up, she she was taught that you know everybody can make it and. The, the small hats over there are the chosen people, so forth and so on, all right? 
So Esau is, is out there right now using our history book, because that's what exactly what it is. He was using our history book to teach the scriptures. So what's that make him? He's a false prophet. So let's read Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 20. It says, Wherefore thus said the Lord power, Yahweh, behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith you hunt, <clears throat> wherewith you there hunt the souls to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms and will let the, the souls go, even the souls that you hunt, to make them fly. Your kerchiefs also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Because with lies, hear that? Because with lies you have made the heart of the righteous sad, <laughs> whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked, and he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life. <laughs> Read it again. Ain't this Christianity right here? Christianity tells you all you got to do is this. Go to church on Sundays, confess what you did, and you'll be okay. You're going to make it into heaven. You can sin as much as you want. You can eat whatever abominable food that you want because Jesus went on the cross and died for your sins, and you can just do whatever you want because you're just a human being. <laughs> Read it again. It says, because with lies, you have made the heart of the righteous sad. Who's the righteous? The Israelites, man. All right. And whom I have not made sad. And strengthen the hands of the wicked, and he shall not return from his wicked way by promising him life. Therefore, you shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and you shall know that I am the Lord. All right? So the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, is going to deliver us out of the hands of Esau right now. All right? Because as we all know, he is the wicked, and he is strengthened right now. His ways have definitely got us to the point where... Jake doesn't want to change at all. They just want to accept Christianity because it's the easy thing to do. All they got to do, like I said earlier, all they got to do is just confess. And then after that, they can just live whatever type of way that they want to live. And then they believe when they die, they'll just go in front of the Lord. And then after that, he'll just be like, you know what? I understand what you was going through. You were poor. I understand that you had to sell crack and weed to your own people to make it. I understand. It's okay. You are accepted. Give me a hug. Come through the pearly gates. <laughs> that's not how this works, man. If you do wickedness that's worthy enough for death, the most High can put you to death, man. And you can hear the fear all in her voice. You can hear it, man. This ain't no game. This ain't no game. She like, damn. So she realized the lies. And she was like, okay, hold on. Well, this is if what I was taught is not the truth. Then what's really going on? That heart is beating, man. <laughs> that heart is beating. And a lot of people, <laughs> that's one of the things, man. A lot of people don't fear the Lord. But let's end the uh, lesson with this. Let's get 1 John chapter 5, verse 17. It says, all unrighteousness is sin. And there is a sin not unto death. You hear that, man? Just like I said earlier. If you do something that's worthy enough for death, you go against them commandments, statutes, and laws, and you continue to do it, even though you know that it's wickedness, that's worthy enough for you to not even live here, man. Verse 18, it says, We know that whosoever is born of the Most High sinneth not, but he that is begotten of the Most High keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of the Most High, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. All right? We understand that we are the most high's chosen people. We understand what we need to do in order to make it. And we understand that this whole world is through. So what we got to do, we got to make sure we separate ourselves from this world and the spirit. And that's what it says in uh, Ephesians chapter 6. We are in the spiritual warfare, man. Verse 20, it says that we know that the son of the most high is come and have given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true, even in his son, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. This is the true power and eternal life. All right. We understand who the Lord is. And now it's our duty to tell every, the, the, uh, the world exactly who our Lord and our power is, man. Because what? He has given us an understanding. He put the Holy Spirit upon us to understand these scriptures, break them down, and feed the sheep. So now that we have the truth, we got to continue to bring out this truth so people like her 
can receive the truth and repent. Even if she looks like an Edomite. The last verse, it says, little children, keep yourselves from idols. I'm mine, all right? Jesus Christ is an idol, man. That is not our Lord. If you still out there believing that the Lord is a so-called white man with brown hair, blue eyes, pale skin, all right, even though the scriptures plainly tells you that he has woolly hair and dark skin, it's something wrong with you, man. You must have failed at kindergarten <laughs> extremely. It's not that hard to understand. All you got to do is read the scriptures and you can see and what he looks like and there it is. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh told us to humble ourselves as little children, right? Because as a child, you know, a child is uh, looking for direction. He's looking for guidance. He's looking for all the knowledge that he can soak up. All right. So Yahweh Shai said, look, humble yourselves as these little children and you'll make it to heaven, right? It says, little children, keep yourselves from idols. We're supposed to keep ourselves from whatever this world teaches us. And we're supposed to stay locked in the truth, all right? So that's exactly what we need to do. So then that way people like her can wake up and they can realize what's going on. Yeah, they're going to be upset. Because, yeah, they got to unlearn everything that they have learned in the world. And then they got to start over. But that's a beautiful thing, man. And that's what the scriptures mean by being born again. When you're born again, man, you have the Holy Spirit upon you. You understand what the Lord is about. And you live life differently. A lot of Israelites that claim to be in the truth, they're not born again, man. They just know that they're Israelites, but they're still going off. So it's very important for you to understand what this task is, all right? If you don't understand what's at hand right now, you need to examine yourself. We supposed to be on fire. We supposed to be doing everything in our power to make sure that we are on the right side of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? So, hey, I'm going to end it with that. We almost out of here, man. People starting to realize what it is. <laughs> they starting to realize what it is. And we about to get up out of here and go home soon. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones. Y'all learn this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Rod I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.